Now it's been some time since the companion phase 1 rework settled in and changed our pets for the better. With the announcement of the phase 2 rework coming later this year, I wanted to share my top 5 companions that I feel are holding strong in 2024 since those changes took place. And don't get me wrong here, a top 5 list can easily swing depending on your playstyle and niche activities involved, but in general, I hope this list finds anyone who's looking for reliable companions to aid you in your journey. So, I'm going to cover the majority grounds. Coming in at number five, we have Helios Sentinel. I would be doing this companion an unjustified service if I didn't pop him into a top five list. Warframe has a lot of things that you'll be needing to scan and manual scanning can become quite exhausting. Well, this little fella gives us the opportunity to ignore the manual side of things and start riding life on the automatic drive. Helios offers us an investigative mod to equip into him and with codex scanners equipped within your gear wheel, launching into new areas sets him off like an unstoppable car alarm. Scanning everything and anything that appears on your screen and even at times off your screen. Over time, however, you most unlikely won't continue to use Helios unless you really care about completing and filling in your faction codex scans to summon more enemies into the similar cram arenas. Be that as it may, we're going to go and pop him into the top five due to how good his quality of life is, so let's continue. An unexpected entry to the top five list is the Hounds coming in at number four. Hounds are the definition of a zero to hero rework. When they were first introduced, they were ignored pretty quickly and to quote most players, MR fodder, meaning that you level them up to max and then it's a swift bye-bye never to be used again. But the companion rework breathed absolute life into these guys, making them become some of the best companions that you can use today. And I mean, these things can literally solo steal path content with no help from you. Watch them choke a point and leave nothing remaining as you go collect your free loot. The new bond mods such as Manifold Bond in combination with Contagious Bond has really given us one hell of a defensive combo. Now you go and pair those with the Hound Synergize Perspective mod and a Primer-like weapon for its equipped weaponry and you will truly see what this thing can do. To name a few, this companion provides us with priming capabilities to allow our scaling damage mods to scale with, high damage output as a reliable teammate killing hordes of enemies effortlessly, great energy return due to high kill output but also with the synth mod in combination, and even with its no audit mod, these hounds can literally become like mini warframes providing the likes of frost bubbles when in connection with the right enemy type. Now I do have a video already covering these lovable doggos, so if you do want to learn more about them, go check it out, but until then, let's move on to the next. Easily coming into the top three, we have Nautilus Sentinel. And the results keep on resulting. Another absolutely well-cooked companion upgrade from the Phase 1 rework. With its Cordon mods, it can pull enemies up to 30 meters away together and cluster them for easy pickings, working and synergizing fantastically into melee-related builds. In pair with the Manifold Bond mods and plenty of status, this mod can reset itself extremely quickly, allowing for consistent grouping and nuking, making for quite a fun playstyle. And by all means, similar to the Hounds, this thing can also solo if it wants to. Adding in the Verglass weapon for it to use can result in some devastating build-up damage, soloing content with ease with the Contagious Bond equipped. And to give you guys an idea of how strong this is still today, it required a nerf due to stacking too many heat procs that the game would literally crash. So it had to be capped, but it still decimates Steel Path like a hot knife through butter. Arguably my newest favorite coming in at number two, the Dyriga Sentinel. This thing is my go-to when it comes to everything combat related. The Dyriga is like a hound, but instead of hounds running away and doing their own thing, this Sentinel sticks above your Warframe and follows you. However, unlike the hounds, this one I use purely for being a primer, a companion that weakens enemies, applying plenty of different status procs, and then allows me to finish them off with ramped up damage due to those elements scaling my damage mods like Galvanite shot for example. More importantly, a lot of my Warframe builds have benefited massively due to this companion and setup in particular. You see, the synth mods allow for a 25% chance to drop health orbs on assists. Well, you go ahead and pair that with the Hellstrom weapon, adding an AoE splash-like micro-missile. This means that this companion will hit lots of enemies quite regularly, helping my 25% chance to proc. Now I can go and use the biggest strength mod available called Blind Rage on my Warframe builds. In combination 
it with a prime flow and most importantly an equilibrium these will go and yield me with stronger damage bigger buffs and a much easier flow to acquiring energy without the need for efficiency focusing highly on an active playstyle that in order to go and get my energy we need to kill but that's easy peasy with this companion at my side and to top all of that off, you can also go and pop in the duplex bond mod, which means every 100 energy you expend creates more copies of the Sentinel, up to a maximum of four of them active at any time, all shooting micro missiles and the pattern repeats. This synergy this build has has become one of my absolute must have picks for this year. And if there's anything you guys as a viewer can take away from this video is this companion in particular is one you need to try out. So go ahead and give it a shot. And coming in at number one should be no surprise. It's Smita Kavat. This companion has reigned number one for so long, it shouldn't surprise you that if you watched this back in 2021 or 2022, any top five companion video should end up having Smita Kavat at least top one or top two. For those unaware, the Smita Kavat comes with a charm mod, which comes with some insane buffs. On screen are a list of things that it can rotate and cycle between. But in some cases, like the affinity and resource buff, it can stack them, meaning that you could, for example, quadruple your level in experience or even quadruple the amount of resources you pick up during its active duration. In the bounty mission and boss fight against the Prophet Taker or Mother, she can help return an insane amount of credits if she continues to proc and get lucky throughout the fight. Example here, when I once got 8 million credits in a single run that lasted less than 5 minutes of work on Profit Taker's release. Smita has been a powerhouse of a companion for such a long time, but as I echoed previously, we are aware that this year there will be a companion phase 2 rework, and it's been mentioned that Smita herself could be in the line of sight for a nerf, so potentially she will bump down the list in the future, and if she does, I'll be making sure to keep you guys updated with a new top 5 list when that happens. So that's my top 5 companions that I recommend this year, and to those who disagree, it's okay. On screen, are some special mentions for some other companions that I could see enter in the top five, but personally, I don't think they cut my list. If at most, perhaps one or two of them could enter in at the number five position. Some of these, like Worm, are fantastic if we're doing idol on content. So Worm could enter at number one if this video was focused on top companions for idolons, for example. And another one's going to look at is the Panzer Volpa Vila, in which my analogy for this is with the new hound changes, I can see the hounds doing everything panzer does but panzer cannot do everything that the hounds can do besides from quality of life of her devolution she doesn't quite cut my top five personally but hey what do you guys think are there any companions that you think that i have overlooked if so voice your opinion in the comment section below thank you guys for watching today's video a friendly reminder that if you did enjoy please leave a like and share the video with a friend if you're new to the channel come subscribe for future videos but until next time i'll be seeing you guys again soon